Welcome Capricorns. I want to say um, happy birthday, happy new year. Um, this is the money and business career and wealth reading for the year 2020. Wow. Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. A lot is going on. Um, so a lot of you Capricorn, um, what is so good about this is like money is returning. Okay. It's like um, a situation. Let's look at the diamond shape. Money is returning, Capricorn. Whatever is happening in transpiring, money is returning. So what we're seeing here is that the Four of Pentacles looks an abundancy. And there was a whole lot of secrecy that was happening because this is your house, Capricorns. And there was a whole lot of secrecy that was affecting your money and financial flow and abundancy. And a cancer was the one that was creating a lot of illusions around you. Okay. And it's as if this is now going to be returning to you in this year. So, there are good times when cards come up because uh, if this card, the Four of Pentacles, was in the upright position, it would be meaning that you have been holding on on your money. If this was in um, the upright position, this is looks and abundance. This would have meant that you are not expanding and giving out. Uh, anything to regain and invest in okay but this is in the reverse so it's as if 2021 was a hard year for a lot of you financially capricorns and this year money is going to be coming in and if you notice the energy is that money that a leo had is going to be returned to you because a leo you see the seven of ones and the six of ones there's no uh, no jupiter and leo because uh, this is a tower moment, okay? Because in the reverse, you're looking and re they're recognizing that a Leo has stole a lot of money from you in the year 2021. So when we look at this in the reverse form, Capricorn, you see the energy that a Leo in 2021, because this is in the reverse, so in the month of January and Leo and in February got and in March got a whole lot of money and stole a whole lot of money from you in 2021 and gained a lot of whole, a whole lot of money, um, using your ideas and information. And now, um, it was as if there were riding your parade in, 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 in 2021 when we look at it reverse. And this is also the seven of cups so, and took all of your opportunities in 2021. But in the reverse in 2022, they have to return it. <laughs> so if you notice money and looks is going to be returned because a cancer and a Leo was working against you and was taking a lot of money from you. You know, they, they just think that, uh, um, they just rain on your parade, take all your opportunities in, um, in, um, 2021. And now it is all going to be coming back to you in 2022. So, you know, this is some people don't read, um, reverse cards, but I do. Um, so, you know, when I was doing this layout, I was thinking, damn, Capricorn, you have everything in the reverse, but actually reverse is good because what is transpiring is that uh, whoever this Leo is uh, took a lot of opportunities and a Leo and a Cancer because here is the energy of secrecy, the energy of the moon. The moon is the energy of the Cancers. Had a lot of secrecy and was stealing from you and taking your looks and abundance and it's going to be coming back to you in this year. Seven of, um, of Cups is uh, the energy of uh, the opportunities that was supposed to come to you. Um, didn't come to you last year, but they're going to be returning to you. And if you notice, this is not in the upright where it stopped. No, it's going to be flowing. Okay. And this is what I say to you. A lot of you Capricorns, uh, whatever is meant for you, if even someone else stole it, because obviously a Leo had stole a lot of money from you in the, in 2021. And it is now going to be returning to you because here you can see the seven of ones where they, uh, this Leo in, in, in uh, 2021 successful took and uh, took a whole lot of money from you. Okay. 
all right and had a whole lot of success taking opportunities under your name and that sort of a thing in 2021 as you look at the flip side of what was coming in and now it's a flip side of no um they are shaking down this lee of all the money that they took from you and they are also um there's no success for this leo because they recognize uh, that a leo and uh, uh, took a whole lot of opportunities that you were supposed to get and they're all going to be returned to you wow all right so let's break this down this is january february march april may june july august september october november december months that is going to be good is uh, going to be uh, like the first six months is like um, you're going to be taken back to your power and September when you get to September you're going to be very successful the six of Pentacles is very good September and December is going to be good now there's going to be a heartbreak so in the month of November but we'll get to that to see wh who and what so in the month of January the seven of ones is here and in the month of January um, you are being annoyed with a situation in the month of January and things are going to be going fast. It's like things are all up in the air. You have to be settling down things, getting things settled down and that sort of a thing. So I see you juggling a lot of stuff. Okay, seven of ones um, is, is like juggling. It's like your foot is not on the feet because so much things is going on and you have to be catching up with everything that is going on. So a lot of people who start new jobs, uh, you have to like learn a new system and that sort of a thing. So the first three months is going to be juggled. You know, you're juggling a whole lot of things because you there is so many things that is happening. Then um, um, some of you are going to be dealing with a situation with with um, a Aries and a Leo and uh, um, in the month of January, okay? But is that things are coming out that these people were doing, they could have been co-workers or they could have been people who were working against you and it's all going to be coming out. In the month of February, the six of ones and in the month of February, you were hoping for some sort of a good news whether or not you're going to be getting it, Leo is not going to be getting it because uh, no, um, Jupiter is not in Leo because the Six of Wands is good news or good news um, um, for a Leo. Whoever this Leo is that was working against you, I see a Taurus is going to be taking this down and a Taurus is going to be helping you um, so that a Leo doesn't get something that they wanted. Okay, so um, this is going to be good because uh, the six of ones is that you're going to be receiving some news that money is going to be returning to you. So if you notice, this is um, in the reverse, but it is in your money house and it is a, a whole lot of money that you had lost uh, um, because of a uh, Leo who stole a lot of money. This money is going to be, you're waiting for this money to be returned. In the month of March, you are dealing and you're going to be, um, you know, regaining a whole lot of money because people are now going to be recognizing that a Leo, somehow a Leo had uh, used your identity or your information or a Leo had stolen a lot of money from you and your business. And they are, you're going to be regaining this money in the month of March. So, um, these three months is about uh, dealing with some sort of a problematic situation and, it is a Leo and a young Capricorn. So some of you could be, um, you're recognizing that this Leo, this young Capricorn was using your business because when we look uh, at the um, over thing there, they're now recognizing a whole lot of uh, information is now coming out uh, about what was happening and transpiring in the year um, 2021. And then I see the defeat of a Leo. A Leo is a defeat. So if you notice um, this energy with the overstay is that a Leo has been defeated because they recognize that communication of a Leo, a Leo was not speaking the truth. So with that, uh, this money is going to be returning and you see the success. So you see um, the mirroring face of what is transpiring in these months. So expect money to be returning in the month of March and the month of September because they're now recognizing that details and information Aaliyah had lied, okay? So um, the first three months is that you are going to be having a whole lot of work to do. It is going to be busy as a bee the first three months of the year, okay? 
Then we are looking at April, May and, and June. In the month of um, uh, April, you're dealing with the energy of the star and it is a problematic situation where you are dealing with some sort of a um, work documentation and that sort of a thing and trying to bring back some sort of a balance in your world. So you could be catching up on a whole lot of work and things are very, very um, um, going very, very fast. So be aware of this uh, um, in the month because April um, um, January to April is going to be extremely, and when we say extremely busy, extremely, extremely busy. And you're balancing out some sort of a situation and getting things back in order. So, um, success it can be here, and a lot of you could be successful, but it is successful, success come, um, through a lot of uh, labor, okay? Um, so be aware of that, but it is good positive energy because it's a major arcana. So um, if you look at it in the reverse form, is that you're going to be successful standing your grounds against a situation. In the month of May, it's going to be a positive, positive month because in the month of May, I see money is going to be returning. If you notice, you don't have this money yet. This money is coming back to you. And this money is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a powerful reading. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. And, and all of this, this is like in the reverse. This one is the only one in the upright because you're going to be successfully overcoming your your boss or you're going to be investing in a good business and the investment or the merger is a yes okay and that's going to be like september people are asking to merge with you and in december it's going to be yes so what we see here is the energy of the nine of pentacles and a whole lot of money is going to be returned to you because they're now gathering data and information and getting to the bottom of a situation. It could be tax problematic situation. It could be a whole lot of business. It could be money that was owed to you. Your clients is going to be paying in the month of May. So May is looking good. That's a money month. Okay. March and May is going to be a money month for you Capricorns. Then when we look at June, June is the seventh. So if you notice in this first period, number 77 comes up in the first period. Number 77 is here and twice six is in the second period. And it the twice six is in the energy of um um where we've um, as we get with that, but the first quarter. Uh, the first six months is going to be very good. It's, it's, it's going to be a month of uh, a whole lot of fastness, a whole lot of business. This year is a year where you're going to be getting down to the grounds, getting down to the field. Expect in a month of uh, June that a lot of opportunities that was uh, stolen from you is going to be returned. A lot of opportunities. Uh, that people had took from you opportunities that you could have made a lot of money last year is going to be returning because the detach is in the reverse. So you have detached, you're open up for more business, more opportunities, and that is going to be bringing you a lot of lux. Okay. So opportunities is going to be coming back. That is going to be bringing you lux. And the first six months, even though it feels as if you are um, if everything is going fast, 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 you'll be okay. As we look at the months of July, August, and September. Now, in the month of July, um, you're dealing with information and data that is coming in in the month of July. This is the Six of Swords. So expect some sort of a communication that is coming in in the month of July. We don't know where this communication is. It could be contractual agreement. Um, it could be that some of you get to find out that your contractual agreement is going to be extended because it's not in the, the upright that is going to end. So in July, you will get news that your contractual agreement is going to be extended. OK, so this is good. This is good when it's in the reverse. Then when we look at this in August, um, uh, information is going to be coming in in August. So you could be, um, discussing the terms and condition and, uh, um, 
in um, September is when this new contractual agreement is going to be coming up. So let's say that you were doing some sort of a temporary work. The first six months is over. So they told you in July, okay, we're going to be taking you on. And in the month of August, you're still discussing um, um, your terms and condition moving forward. Okay. This is discussion. Discussion. It's not a defeat. It is a discussion for you. Um, and you're going to be discussing, uh, moving forward, taking on, um, going permanent with a company, discussing contractual agreement and that sort of a thing. And in September, that's when you are going to be signing that new contractual agreement. Okay. So this is good. This is, this is really, really good. Now, who is, um, yes. This is good. So um, this um, three months uh, is that changes of work, changes of position, um, changing of career position and work is going to be coming up for a lot of you. And in September, you're going to be landing a really high professional job and an IP salary. A lot of you are going to be getting some sort of an increase of salary in the month of September. September is when a lot of you are going to be doing mergers or um, um, extension of a, a contractual agreement, moving from out of temporary into permanent status. And that is going to be good. And September is going to be a good month. So write September down. So you're, you know, September is one of these good, the best month in this quarter. Okay. These, these two months is about communication. So you could be having a lot of meetings, discussion, um, you know, um, yeah, discussing your terms and condition going. And these are meetings, a whole lot of meetings, uh, um, in the month of June. So it, June is half year. July is a uh, half year and you know, this is like, um, closing off uh, the books or that sort of a thing in, um, June and July. You're discussing it, a whole lot of meetings and then they're going to be discussing some sort of a new contractual uh, and situation moving forward. So, um, expect September to be a very, very good month. This is going to be good. Last three months, we have October, November and December. And in the month of October, a whole lot of, uh, secrecy or things that was going on um secrecy in corporation institution that could be coming out secrecy at the workplace could be coming out and a lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of secrecy of a cancer and that a cancer was stealing from your business or your company and they're going to be alerting you at this time and Whatever that was happening, they're going to be recognizing that a cancer was the one that was creating a whole lot of problematic situation. And I see heartbreaks for this cancer and you have victoriously overcome this cancer. I see a Virgo and a Gemini is going to be happy and helping you in the month of December. I see in the month of November, there's going to be um, sorrows and heartbreaks for a group of people. And it could be that a lot of you are leaving a company or some of you are going to be getting um, um, information that a contract is not going to be extended in the month of November. OK, so November is uh, um, not looking as a really positive uh, month for you guys that november is the only month that you need to look out for july august and november whatever is happening july august and november and it's because there's some sort of a secrecy in a corporation institution it could be secrecy around the workflow in that sort of a situation but in business don't do any business deal in the month of november because we're going to be looking at what is going to be transpiring and who is affecting you and what is transpiring in the month of November. Okay. So again, um, the first six months is going to be busy, but, um, um, March and uh, May is going to be good. Opportunities is going to be coming in June, open for it. Uh, a lot of meetings and that sort of a thing in July. And, uh, um, I see, Heartbreaks with some sort of a contractual agreement, uh, um, but we discuss it because I see a Libran wanted some sort of a contractual agreement, and I see that you are going to be getting the position, so they're going to be firing a Libran 
okay they're going to be fine and liberal i see heartbreaks for a liberal and a cancer they're definitely fine and liberal and a cancer and um i see um that they're going to be ending up in some sort of a legal issue problematic situation all right okay let's break this down and look so and, and, and Aries in the first house, you're dealing with an Aries, okay? You're dealing with an Aries and a Leo. And whether this Aries and this Leo uh, is, uh, they're in the reverse. And this Aries and this Leo is in some sort of a problematic situation and wants to drag you in it. And you Capricorns are going to be like, leave me out of this. I don't want to be um, involved and I don't want to have any connection with you um, people, okay? So some sort of a problematic situation that is coming in, but it's, it's so busy and everything is going so fast in January, but you're going to be recognizing and it's as if you're going to be getting to the bottom of the situation and recognize that an, an, an Aries uh, um, wasn't an uh, uh, Aries. The seven of ones is that uh, you need to stand your grounds against the uh, Aries. Okay. You need to flip side and stand your, uh, your grounds against the uh, Aries in the month of January and said, no, this is what I want. This is what I need to be done. Thank you. And you move on. Okay. So it's a situation where I see an uh, Aries is going to try to fling around a thing and you're going to be standing your ground in the month of January and said, hell no, this is not happening under my, uh, under my, um, under my time watch. Okay. In the month of, uh, uh, Ju uh, February, um, uh, in the second house of your money house, the second house of your money house is that, uh, um, it is going to be coming in good. Okay. And it is as if uh, you're going to be regaining a whole lot of money that was stolen from you and your business or money that was stolen from you. Let's say that a lot of you were not paid properly for a service that has been done. Um, I see that your money house is not going to be bad. It's the six of ones in the river. Six of ones is about good news about money, but this is like money is going to be returning to you because if you look in the month of May, it's as if you're doing something and in the month of uh, um, November and May is when the money is coming in. So you could be investing in the month of February, giving out a lot of money, investing, and it is going to be coming back to you. Okay. So um, that is going to be good. Co um, contracts agreement could be also signed or you are saying, okay, I will do the service. Uh, um, but I'm not signing any contractual agreement because in June, the uh, overstaker is that uh, in February, you are going to be, um, yeah, discussing and dele deliberating your contractual, um, that sort of a thing. Okay. In the month of March, March, uh, you are dealing with people, um, in general. And I see if you are doing anything with, um, customer service and that sort of a thing, a whole lot of money will be coming in if you have your own business. Um, the months is going to be enough, um, March and May when you're going to be having a lot of business coming in to you, okay? So um, uh, the energy of um, the third house is about dealing with groups of people and they're going to be like um, supporting your business or whatever you have going. Then we are looking at the the fourth house and the fourth house is uh, a situation with a scorpion now whoever the scorpion is in your because well, fourth fourth house is the energy of a scorpion and whoever this uh sorry fourth and fourth house is the energy of a cancer and you're resolving a situation because a cancer had created a whole lot of problems that you have to be clearing up and you're working on this and you're going to be very successful okay so a cancer try to ruin um, your reputation or created some sort of a situation and they're onto a cancer now and you're helping them to resolve a situation. Okay. Then when we look at, at the fifth house, the house of the fifth house, again, they're now going to be recognizing that a Leo had took a whole lot of money that you were supposed to receive. They now recognize that a Leo had really access and took a whole lot of money and they're going to be returning this money to you. Then when we look at the house of uh, the Virgos, the Virgos are going to be opening up doors of opportunities uh, for you. Some of you and Virgos could be collaborating and this is going to be a good collaboration. If you decide to collaborate or work in a team with a Virgo, it's going to be very, very um 
a very, very positive and it's going to be um, giving you a lot of profit and wins uh, in the long run. OK, it is going to be profitable if you decide because a lot of opportunities is going to be coming in and this coming could be coming to Virgos. OK, Virgos could be selling business or um, creating um, something and pushing you up uh, um, uh, the um, the pushing you up uh, the, the stairs, uh, um, climbing the ladder, okay? And this is going to be good. It's going to be bringing in a lot of looks and abundancy. As we look at the house of, this is the seventh house, and the seventh house so, is the house of contractual agreements. A whole lot of contractual agreements is going to be coming up, but a whole lot of, um, it's as if you're having a whole lot of uh, offers because they come in in the month of September and you're looking at these uh, contractual agreement and that sort of a thing. So a whole lot of offers is going to be coming in and you're dealing, having meetings and that sort of a thing. Then when we look at the month of uh, the house, the, the eight house, the eight house is about short term contractual agreement is also going to be coming in. This is going to be also very good. Um, when we look at the nine house, it's going to be very, very positive, especially with sales business overseas, it's going to be good. Then when we look at your house, it's going to be good because you're going to be finding out a lot of secret deals and a lot of secret contract that was made that you were not aware of. And when we look in the house of the Aquarians, I see heartbreak for an Aquarian because they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian had collaborated and did something that was not above water. Some of you could be firing an Aquarian or an Aquarian is going to be fired. They're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian accessed some sort of a documentation that was not above water. And I see heartbreaks for an Aquarian. When we look at the house of the Pisces, Pisces are going to be helping some of you to manifest your materialistic wealth. If a Pisces acts to collaborate with you, it's a yes, go for it. Love you guys. Namaste. If you want to see the extended of Sweden, follow us to the other side.